okay, Dilly, we're going to make a list of everyone that we're grateful for. So this is going to be our grateful list. So start thinking, Dilly. Everyone that we're so grateful for. Let's list all of the people. So we're grateful for, yep, we're grateful for Dad. Because <laughs> he really likes to repair things. That comes in handy. So we're very grateful. And we're grateful for our mom. She does all kinds of stuff around the house. She cooks. She cleans. She takes care of us when we're sick. We're so grateful for her. And we're grateful for oh, our sisters. They like to play baby dolls with us. And that's so much fun. And we're grateful for, oh, that's right, our brothers. Oh, hi kids, it's Pickles and Dilly here. We're so glad that you are tuning in today. This whole month, we've been learning how to be grateful. Well, this is our last week in our theme, Be Grateful, but that doesn't mean that it's the end of being grateful every day for everything that God gives us and that God does for us. As I was thinking about everything that I'm grateful for, one of those things is my family. So Dilly and I, we were making a list of everyone in our family that we are grateful for. And then we're going to pray for everyone that we put on our list as we thank God for them. And I really want to encourage you kids to do the same thing. Just get something to write with and some paper and sit down and think of everyone in your family that you are grateful for. And then after you make your list, just pray for them. Ask God to bless them and tell God just how much you are grateful for them. You know, doing this fun activity made me think of how grateful I am to be in God's family. God's family is huge. <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach you how to be a part of God's family. In our Bible, if you turn to um, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and go down to the very last verse, which is 50, 5, 0, and we're going to read that scripture. That scripture, Jesus tells us, that for whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven by believing in me and following me is my brothers and sister and mother. So who did Jesus say is in his family? <laughs> That's right. Those who do God's will. That means if you believe in God and do the things God tells you to do, you are a part of God's family. And if you believe in Jesus and I believe in Jesus, then that means we're family together because we're all a part of God's family. You know, kids, if you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, um, and you want to be a part of God's family, then I want to ask you to do that today. All you have to do is say this prayer and you'll just repeat after me. Are you ready? All right. Say, Jesus, I believe you died for my sins. All the bad things that I do. Jesus, will you forgive me? I need you to be my savior, Jesus. Please come into my heart and help me live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, kids, if you said that prayer, welcome to God's family. Jesus is so happy because he loves you so much. Kids, Dilly and I, we will be praying for you this week. We are so thankful to be a part of God's family with you. Now, I got to get back to my grateful list. And I'm going to put you on my list and I'm going to pray for you this week. So kids, we'll see you next week. All right, Dilly. Oh, 
Yep, and we're thankful for Dipstick. And we're thankful for Winnie. Man, Dilly, this list is going to take us forever. Thank you.